Alright. There's your train for today. The little baby train. Alright, talk to you later. Uh, I'm in the sleeper. I had somebody ask uh, how to change the little light bulbs in the uh, overhead light in a Peterbilt sleeper in this the little overhead light. So uh, I thought we'd start this morning with that. It's a pretty simple, but if you don't know how to do it, he said, I can't figure out how to get the cover off. So uh, I'm going to show you how to do it real quick. Um, and the cover he's talking about is that cover right there now this fluorescent light is an aftermarket light that I put in it's actually a one a 110 fluorescent light but the light he's talking about is that light right there so I've already loosened it up a little bit just for camera I got this little special tool from Walmart and a screwdriver will work too but all you do is you take the screwdriver you see a little notch right there and there's one on the back side there's one on all four sides just take the screwdriver put it in there and pry it around the edge there now I've already loosened this up so you can pull it off and you see how it just kind of snaps off hopefully I got it loose enough so there we go I'm trying to do this one hand so there is the light right there and then it's just little push-in bulbs now this little fluorescent light let me see so this is just a fluorescent light that um, I bought at Walmart and it's just double-sided sticky tape across the top up there um, and then I got it plugged into my inverter but uh, so anyway all right that's how you change the light I'm gonna put the cover back on we need to get going uh, yesterday was a good day I'll tell you about that once we get going so talk to you in a bit all right let's get going here we got a long way to go um, we uh tighten that up hey sorry about that we um and i use we because me and you uh not because of there's somebody else in here uh we loaded um yesterday we unloaded our panels that went pretty good and then um we uh, went and picked up a big piece of machinery that weighed twenty thousand pounds it was a big press thing and that only went eight miles. I picked it up, literally drove it across the bridge and delivered it. <clears throat> that went really good. Uh, I called Katie. I said, uh, let's see if we can get another one for today because we got done with that about two o'clock. I said, let's see if we can get another one for today. So we got a load out of Gent, Kentucky. We got a load out of Gent, Kentucky yesterday. We loaded last night. Uh, heading over here to St. Louis. Now it's got two drops in St. Louis. We got uh, bars on. Uh, we weigh about 34, 35,000 pounds, so we're not super heavy. But um, so we had a good day today. So we handled three shipments yesterday. We uh, unloaded, reloaded, unloaded, and reloaded yesterday. So we had a good day yesterday. And I was wore out too. I actually spent the night at Mercer and then uh, woke up this morning and took off and came over here and stopped here real quick to uh, to get some uh, breakfast and a cup of coffee. But uh, that's what's going on. So we're going to make our way over to St. Louis and then um, we don't have a reload yet. I'm hoping to get skidded coils out of Granite City. They load late out of Granite City till about I think it's seven or eight o'clock. So uh, we're not probably not going to get this unloaded. Hopefully, till about two or three o'clock this afternoon. So um, if we get this unloaded in time and they have a Granite City coming right back to Louisville, that's what I'd like to do. That's what I'm hoping for. So we'll see. Alright, let's make our way to St. Louis. We got about, uh, from right here, a little over 200 miles. I think that's about right. A little over 200 miles over to uh, St. Louis to deliver. So, uh, I'll talk to you guys in a bit.
You can't come around just as you please Pretend to wear your heart on the sleeve Claiming to have found this inner peace I just count the minutes till you leave And you can't reload out of Granite City. If we can get back to Granite City in time for tonight, then uh, we'll go pick up Granite City tonight and we're going down to Jacksonville, South uh, Jacksonville, uh, Jacksonville, Florida for um, for uh, Monday. And then we already got a reload out of Florida going back up to uh, Oshkosh, Wisconsin. So we're, 1, feet, you will arrive at your destination. We're, uh, we're all set up for all of next week. So we'll be back up. If everything goes right, we're going to be back in Wisconsin on Friday. So, all right. This is where we got to go. And it's been a long time since I've been here. But last time I here, it wasn't too bad. Let's see. That looks like the truck entrance there. I have arrived what she says receiving all right let me see if I can get in here so uh, I called them they said they're gonna be at lunch they're gonna be at lunch till 1230 it just is 12 o'clock now oh, it was a tight squeeze uh, it just is 12 o'clock now so we're gonna get on uh, we only got about 10 bundles. We only got about 10 bundles to deliver. Look in here, see what's going on. Looks like you're doing a bunch of construction back here. So hopefully they won't take too long getting this off. 
because our other one said we had to be there by about 2.30 ish so I'm hoping and it's about an hour away so I'm hoping that uh, we can uh, get unloaded in time otherwise we're gonna have to wait till tomorrow we'll see how it goes and they got this all tore up back here I guess they're expanding I guess that's a good thing I guess that's a good thing Let's see. That door down there. Or if it's that door right there. All right, let me figure out what's going on. Talk to you guys in a bit. All right, we got uh, it went good. We were done in less than 30 minutes. So I just kind of balled the tarp up because we only took half the load. I know I didn't show you guys, but it's been super windy. Um, all right, we got about an hour down to the next one. We were supposed to be there at one, it's 12.30, so we're gonna be about 30 minutes late. But I called, and we should be okay, so it shouldn't be an issue. If we can get that off, that should come off fairly quickly, fold up the tarp, throw it on the trailer, and from Union back up to Granite City, probably about an hour and a half. Um, so we'll run back up to Granite City and we'll try to load this to Granite City tonight just to get it over with and uh, so we don't have to worry about it. But man, we've been rocking and rolling yesterday and kicked butt, today we're kicking butt. So hopefully everything keeps going good, but uh, nah, we're killing it. So it's a good deal, good deal. All right, let's make a way. Let's make our way down to uh, Union and uh, talk to you when we get down there. All right, we uh, made it down here to the next place. If I can find it, it should be up here on the left or right here. I think that's it right here. I've never been to this one right here. But uh, let's see what time it is. It's 20, we're only 25 minutes late. So uh, we In should, 1,000 feet, your destination will be on the left. Looks like a nice brand new building. So I was talking to the guy in there at the other place, and he said these people used to be in the other building, and the new people have only been in there about a year. So uh, he said they moved down here. So the last time that I was here, or last time I delivered up there, it was this company was up there, if all that makes sense, but that's what Your the guy said. Your destination is on the left. So, all right, shipping and receiving. Oh, let's see what I gotta do here. Shipping and receiving. All right, looks like we're gonna pull up here. See what happens. See what happens. They got nice signs. I like all the signs. Nice signs. All right, let me go check in, see what's going on. Talk to you in a bit. Right, real quick, we got to go around back. If you guys can look up on the hill up there, I look like that's Climate Express. Looks like maybe one of their. Uh, facilities or headquarters up there looks like they got a bunch of new, uh, new Volvos up there ah let's see we got to go around back to the door back here far door we're gonna yank off these tarps I don't know if those guys are in line or Let's see here. Da, da, da. I'm trying to see 
see if those trucks are in line or if they just pulled to the side. Looks like they are just pulled to the side. So I will just pull up right here. Go inside and check in real quick. See what I gotta do. Let's go get empty and I'll talk to you in a bit. Alright, it's the end of the day. Um, finishing up the last load here. We uh, got some skidded coils. So you can see them right there. Um, I'm just finishing up now. Tarping. But I need to get a new strap. A new two inch strap. Because I've used up all mine. These, uh, these are the plastic edge protectors from the... Um, the insulated panels we had we got there almost 24 of them so we did good um but anyway i wanted to show you i wanted to show you this little trick real quick let me set you guys up so you can see me i hope that you can hear me <clears throat> so we're gonna get a two inch strap when you buy these straps new here i'm gonna have to show you this hang on when you buy these straps new I always like to drop my strap down and flip it up over the rub rail. And if you see the hooks backwards, and the reason I do that, see just like this one here, the reason I do that is if the strap should come loose, it won't fall off the rail. Now you could take it, you could take it like, hang on a second, let me try and do this one handed. There we go, whoops. So you could take it like this and pull it up like that. But if that strap should come loose, it'll drop down and fall off. But if it's flipped over, then if it comes loose, it won't fall off. I've learned that the hard way. Now, when you buy these two inch straps though, they're backwards. So you can see the flat side of the handle and the hook is facing the wrong way. We need the hook to face us. So what we're gonna do is take uh, this bolt out. It's real simple. I'll show you how to do it. And uh, we'll flip it around and uh, get done here shortly all right hang on one second so all we're gonna do is uh, take this bolt out man we have been kicking butt the last couple of days uh, we got our two loads off this morning or we drove all the way from Louisville this morning and uh, we got our two loads unload we're loading this up, so today's Thursday. Uh, this goes down to Jacksonville, Florida on uh, Monday. And then uh, Wednesday, we're loading out of Fort Stewart, going back up to uh, Wisconsin. And we're gonna deliver that on Friday. So, uh, so we got lucky. So, you can see the bolt. All it does is we're gonna pull the bolt out, flip the strap around, and then bolt it back up. Put the bolt back in there like that tighten it up now you don't have to over tighten these you just it's got a lock nut on it just tighten it up till it's snug um every now and then you got to flip them around but oop. oh now you guys are cooking hang on a second hang on oh i'm almost done there we go it's been a long day we uh we get done here we're gonna just uh camp out here and uh they allow overnight parking here these guys here are pretty cool uh they allow overnight parking so we're just going to stay here tonight and then uh head on down tomorrow they're calling for snow here tomorrow i don't know but uh calling for snow so all right let me put the last little bit together here on this tarp and uh we'll be done and i'll talk to you guys in a bit all right all right, here's our load. I don't know if you guys can see much, but uh, that's our load there. Oh, there we go. I'll turn it up. That's better. Tarp job, skidded coils. We'll look at it better tomorrow. But uh, here's these uh, uh, plastic edge protectors I was talking about. Now, I'll take the wood off of them. So the wood's just screwed on there. But I got 24 of these things. So that's pretty good at about $3 a piece. So, made out pretty good. Oh, man. 
All right, let's get back up in that truck. See all the mud on the ground there. Hang on one second. All right. Oh, that'll be it for today. We've had a good week. Really good. Good three days, actually. Uh, like I said, we run this down to uh, Jacksonville Monday. And then Tuesday, we're going to break on Tuesday. I'm hoping the weather's good on Tuesday. Uh, I'm going to take some time. We're going to fix some tarps. And then Wednesday, we'll load up heading back up to Wisconsin. So, uh, so anyway. All right, that's it. End of the day. Thanks for watching. I'll talk to you later.